So let's see. I am a ghost of myself, and I can actually possess myself. This is such a weird snapshot. <laughs> Thank you, me, for demonstrating the first feature of the snapshot for 14 week 05A. And the first feature of that is actually a new spectating mode. So if I go ahead and step onto here, you can see that my game mode has now been set to spectator mode. And this can either be achieved by going to game mode 3 or by doing slash game mode spectator, spectator if you are so inclined to use words as opposed to that. But um, yeah, switching in between, it does seem a little buggy, although it is pretty neat. Um, basically, here's the things that you need to know about this mode. So right now you can fly around and you can clip through any block, meaning you don't interact with it whatsoever. You can even go underground. Uh, you can hit and you can try and place blocks even though you can't see anything. Your actual GUIs are now hidden and yeah, it's pretty much just limiting you in what you can do and what you can see. I just wish you could fly a little bit faster, but that is about it. I really, 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 really love this game mode, and I even I even have some uses for it just in my mind without even thinking of a map to put them in. But another thing that is really, really cool that you can do with the spectator mode is what happens if you go ahead and left click, or yeah, left click onto a mob or entity or anything. You can actually take their point of view. Now I am actually looking at the point of view of that creeper, which is crazy. And if I go ahead, um, I've learned to get out of this by going to hit shift and that'll bring you out of it. And let me go ahead and get this enderman going. So um, this is really cool. Let me go ahead and move this guy over here. Yeah, this is really, really interesting. This is actually tracking my player, which is, it's crazy. It's really awesome. Oh, 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 that, no, no, no. <laughs> Creepers, you're ruining everything. <laughs> that has got to be the luckiest crash I ever had. As soon as that all happened, the game crashed and everything reset back to its normal thing. So I guess everything's all right. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the other couple of notable features that are in this snapshot. Um, but spectator mode is one of the big ones. Um, another one that is really important is when it comes to a new block, actually. This is a new block called Barrier, and you can get it by doing slash give your name and then Minecraft colon Barrier, and it'll give you one of those. And pretty much what this is, is a completely invisible, completely invincible block. So you can try and break this thing in whatever game mode you want, except for obviously creative, and it will not break. You can blow it up with TNT. I don't know if it does stand the test of the TNT minecarts, but yeah, it's basically a wall that nobody can get through. Nobody can break it down with any tool they have. And it's just really, really cool. I can, I already have so many uses for this. Like it, whether it's my Pixelmon map, whether it's just like a mini game I'm making, I don't know. I have so many uses for this thing. It's really cool. But yeah, and then um, another change is whenever it comes to minecarts. Minecarts now have a feature where if you actually have an activator rail, that's not what I wanted to pick up. If you have an activator rail, the one where if you flip it, it'll activate some TNT that's on it. Um, now, whenever there is a minecart and a player or a mob in there, if you actually activate it, it will just flip out the, it'll flip out any entity. And now you can see that it is also bumping, which can, I, I can see this even being used aesthetically, this change. I think this is going to be pretty cool. And um, yeah, the final change is not one that's too amazing to end on, but it is a nice change nonetheless. Um, if you go in and look at any book, you can now see the original and copy of original under the little thing that, um, the little speech bubble that'll pop up. And it'll say original right under the author and copy of original if it had been cloned. So let me go ahead and just show you that real quick written book. So if I go ahead and clone this, you can see um, that one says original. And then if you put that in there, it'll say copy of original. And um, likewise, I wonder if it'll do, I wonder what it'll do for the for a copy of original. Will it say copy of a copy? I don't know. I don't know, I'm just messing around at this point. You, you you can pretty much click off, that's everything that this snapshot had to offer. Anyways, yeah, it's a pretty short one, but it's definitely one that I am loving nonetheless. You now have invincible, invisible blocks, you can now spectate as either players, or you can spectate as mobs, and it is just so cool. Real quick, let me go ahead- Oh, 
Oh, I was really, really wanting to get a point of view of that zombie. I actually wonder if it'll work for the Ender Dragon. Oh, it doesn't. That's so disappointing. Ah, I really wish this would, I really, maybe, maybe in the future, maybe this would be so cool. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I am John and I will see you guys next time.